Today, we're exploring Hurricane Ian's impact on Florida's real estate resilience. After Hurricane Ian devastated parts of Florida, many expected the Cape Coral, Fort Myers, and Tampa Bay area to take a significant hit, and it did, but only momentarily. Listings dropped for a brief two months, but then surged for the next six. So what does this tell us? Hurricanes might shake the market, but they don't define it. For investors, this presents a unique opportunity. The immediate aftermath of such natural disasters often sees a dip in real estate transactions. But as the dust settles, a bounce back usually follows. Investors rush in, seizing opportunities and capitalizing on the market's resilience. Now here's where it gets interesting for you, the investor. New listings have surged, likely due to a backlog created by the storm. Many homeowners whose properties were affected are now looking to sell, either because of damages or simply a desire to relocate. This influx of listings means more options and potentially more negotiating power for buyers. But it's not just homes that are hitting the market. Cape Coral has seen a surge in vacant plots becoming available. For those looking to build or invest in new constructions, this is your moment. And with Florida's stringent building codes, new constructions are designed to withstand heavy weather better than ever before. Despite these challenges, Florida remains a hotspot for real estate. The state's warm weather, affordable home prices, and the allure of waterfront views continue to attract buyers, both local and out of state. While natural disasters like Hurricane Ian pose challenges, they also present opportunities. For investors, the key is to understand the market dynamics, seize the moment, and make informed decisions. Florida's real estate market has shown its resilience, and for those ready to dive in, the rewards can be significant. Thank you for watching. If you found this analysis insightful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more real estate insights.